American citizen and University of Virginia student Otto Warmbier returned home from North Korea last night. Sadly, not in good health. Warmbier is very ill. North Korea blames that on botulism rather than their own poor treatment of him. In either case, we traveled to Cincinnati, Ohio today to talk to his father, Otto's dad, Fred Warmbier. That interview was going to air tonight, but breaking news intervened. We didn't want it to deny this case the attention it definitely deserves. So we're going to air the full interview tomorrow night. We think it's going to be worth watching. Here's a preview of that. So you said that once this process is over the next couple of days, you hope to get back to being a family and living a conventional life. What do you think the lessons of this are, your son's captivity in North Korea? Why did this happen? Being in the wrong place. I, the lessons of, of Otto's captivity in North Korea, that's going to be for others to decide. Uh, the warm beers are, have been living with this situation for 18 months. There's no meaning here. This is a rogue pariah regime. Uh, they're terrorists. They're they're brutal. There's no sense to anything here. They're, uh, this, they've crossed the line with my son Otto. And so you, it, would be, it would be very difficult to look for a lesson here amongst this insanity. Fred Warmbier, kind of a remarkable man. Spent the morning with him. Ah, oh, an emotional story. 